So this is my setup. It's a very simple setup for Greek torches. Um, it's, it's on purpose very simple because I'm not planning on keeping these baby torches. Uh, we have a garden in my building and there are two big ones and so they lay it here. And, um, and the babies, sometimes I notice that uh, there are more babies in the spring and summer and there are less the next. So I presume they don't make it through the winter. So I, I took them up and uh, I think, I, I'm thinking of releasing them into the wild this summer. This is one that is very active and it digs down, it, it sleeps over there. Most of them sleep over here. And there is this one as well. I have five of them in total. And this one I found into a... It was very like I found it because I, it was in a hole in the ground for a, in, in a pipe, basically. And uh, I thought it was dead. That, that's why it's smaller than the rest of them. Because the rest of them I have for two months. And this one I only have for five days or so. Uh, it was very malnourished and uh, it was very dehydrated. And uh, it was very dirty as well. I left it dirty so I can tell which one it is and, uh, you know, take special care of it. This is the water bowl. Uh, it needs some fixing. It needs some cleaning. And I uh, have some rocks in here so they don't drown. They, they get up on these rocks and then they, they get their, you know, heads in and they dig and they drink water. I have these sticks in here because I don't want them to be very... Um, I don't want it to be very flat and easy to move because I want them to be able to exercise and work the bark legs so they, you know, they grow stronger. I usually just throw some food in here and they and they find it. They don't care about a particular place. They are foraging turtles in, nat in nature. And because I live in Greece, I, I don't need any special lamps or anything. I just have them by the windowsill and I usually take them outside right here yeah you can as you can see I have the little garden over there so I usually take them out there when it's sunny and uh, now it's the end of November it's November 19th and they're still awake they wake up every day yesterday it was raining so they didn't get up but today they're active and I'm going to feed them in a bit and uh, Greek torches they like their setup very dry I only water them when it's raining outside, and that's very rare. I, I have only watered them for two, only two times in this past um, two months, and I just throw very little water. And I can tell you from experience, they don't like the humidity. They, they don't like any humidity at all. They like it very dry. And if you have been to Greece, you know how dry it is. And so, yeah, the soil here, as you can see, it's... Yeah, it's very, it's very dry. You can't find any moisture in. Over here, I have a little hill as well. I have built, so when they get up, they just work the back legs again. And this is their their home, where they sleep. They like it very much, and they also go up here. And they like, you know, basically whatever they can hide underneath. Um. So yeah, they like very dry, they like all kinds of greens. I usually just pick greens from, you know, the street or from the garden or anything, just the weeds, and I give them. They also like lettuce, I feed them whatever food scraps I have, but usually I feed them only the ones, um, not, not fruit. I don't feed them fruit because fruit I feed them very rare, very rarely because they, it's, it's not a part of the natural diet. Usually they diet on uh, very nutrient poor plants and they also need a soaking once in a while a, a soaking I mean in water because tortoises the Greek tortoises especially they defecate in water and so I usually just take the rocks out I put them in here um, yeah and then they defecate and then I clean it up usually if you have a bigger torches they're going to defecate in the water bowls anyways um, and yeah, just use that that because it's very shallow. And they're very happy here. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, let's let me just put them here. And also torches don't really like to be picked up. They don't enjoy that. That's a fact about torches. 
Yeah, and so you can see the, the size difference in all of them. Yeah, so this one, let me just put them in the shadow for a bit. Okay, so this one, it's from a different batch. These three I found together, they were actually really together, it was one on top of the other in a small hole. Uh, this one is from a different batch, probably it's one year older. And this one, I don't know when it hatched. Um, I presume it's in the same batch with these two. Or maybe with the three other ones as well. And um, yeah, let me just put it down. And also they tend to flip a lot. They just fall down from that or maybe there. And I just flip them over. But they're very good on flipping over themselves. So they're very good pets. They, are, they don't need a lot of maintenance. They only need their water, their food, and then, you know, empty out the food. And because it's, the setup is very dry, the food doesn't tell to mold. It doesn't mold. So they're very clean and easy pets. So yeah, that's all you need to know. If you, if you, live, in a, if you live in a cold climate and you don't have a lot of sun, so you can't do what I'm doing, you need to buy a UV lamp and you also need a space where it's cooler and a space where it's hotter. So for example, these torches, when I get them outside, they, they tend to hide and they just hide underneath their wood here when it's hotter. And so they do that twice a day and then they get back out because they need to regulate the body temperature and they regulate it by just going in and out. So you need to have a cooler place and then you need to have a warmer place as well. And also, it's good to have something like this that's not transparent. If it is transparent and they can see outside, they will want to go outside. So it's better to build out from wood or something if you want something more permanent. So yeah, that's it. They're very good pets. They're very friendly. They get used to you after a certain point and they don't really mind having you there. Yeah, this little fellow is going for a walk. Yeah, that's it. See ya. So this is where they normally are outside and uh, yeah, I just put them in when it gets dark and uh, I'm going to feed them some lettuce. I've already washed this lettuce. I usually prefer giving them something from the garden right here. Something that's organic and they don't need to I don't need to worry about any chemicals. This one is going to eat. It's going to eat the beetroot. And uh, yeah it climbed over the stick to get it. So that's why I want uh, sticks in here. I want them to be able to work out, to have a small workout. Especially for the back legs because it, in torches in captivity the back legs usually tend to be weak. Because I, I want to release them in the wild, I, I want them to be strong. I have some rocks as well, so they don't get bored of the same old soil. And torches, Greek torches, they're very hardy. I have seen one in the zoo, it was, um, it was just a torch that someone left and was um, chewing on an old tissue to get some moisture. So, it, like, they don't need a lot of water, they are very self-sufficient. They, they just drink a small, um, very little water and they keep it for a month. But obviously it's, it's good if you have them in captivity, just give them fresh water and food. Yeah, that's it. They're very fun to see as well. They're very, they're very fun to watch. And they're going to grow to be... Uh, to be almost as big as they would. And I have seen some that are even larger. I have seen some that are, you know, a foot, maybe even more. So that's it from us. Now, as you can see, two of them, they already have gone into the hiding place and they uh, like to have a good hiding place. And I also have seen that if you have two entrances, they prefer it that way. And because torches, they're very, I don't know how to explain it, but because they go on top of each other, it's better to have two exits, because if you only have one, the torch can just go and block the exit, and so the other ones won't be able to go out. So this setup is ideal for them. Yeah, and um, bye.